Cone 6. You see, the history of Cone 6 is vague. Now, of course, as we go back through history, there was a process where technologically they were developing higher and higher temperatures and there were some artistic movements that were tied to it because some cultures could only get their kiln technology so high. And we see that in things like the Greek and Roman ware, that it was still a relatively low temperature ware because they couldn't figure out the high temperature. But from a modern context, you know, the history of cone six is somewhat unclear. Um, you know, but we know that hotter is better. And so when did they start saying, well, lower is better too? Um, the, the most of the transition seems to be based around uh, a couple of things that happened in the mid 20th century. Um, one is uh, environmentalism. Uh, during the 1970s, uh, people became much more aware of the our, our impact on the environment. And one of those things is ceramics. I hate to tell you, but we are energy narcissists. And actually, at Cone 6, you're still an energy narcissist. Um, but that we use a lot of energy to make our ceramics. And it's not just in the kilns. We use a lot of energy in shipping and in mining to get these materials around. And so people became very, very aware of that as, as Americans really changed their perspective on, on environmentalism. Uh, in the 1970s, though, in the United States especially, we had an energy crisis where we had fuel shortages and it became a, a large issue of concern going forward in the future. In fact, here is an ad from Ceramics Monthly uh, from 1974 made by Scott Kilns talking about how the energy shortage isn't bothering the Johnsons and neither is making pottery in your living room getting in their lifestyle. I don't know what is going on here, uh, but yeah, I mean, those are some great sideburns on grandma. The 70s was a heck of a drug. But anyway, that people were very concerned with that environmental, uh, uh, the environmental movement and the cost of energy. And so it really made them think about, can we do this with less energy? You know, can, do we have to go to cone 10 or, or can we do this by using less electricity, less gas, all of that? There's a third factor, which I often think is pro possibly relevant, which is that much of ceramics is tied to the university system and university systems are always cutting budgets. When you're cutting your budget, um, one thing to look at is, well, can I use less energy, which will then cost us less money? I can't get less kilns or less wheels or less clay, but energy is sort of seen as a variable. And so I think that that may have led to people to reconsider their use of temperature in their